Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the early images of Ninjago United or Ninjago 2023's ninja costumes and why they appear to be pretty weird looking when compared to previous installments of the ninja's attire. Now, these suits have been a pretty hot topic of discussion lately throughout the Ninjago community, especially since now that we know that all of the previous leaks are in fact real. And those previous leaks do show us our first look at some of the ninja costumes costumes, specifically for Lloyd, Kai, and a new character known as Aaron. Now, because these are technically leaks, I cannot be showing them in the video itself, but I will be leaving a link to them down below in the description. Feel free to check out the ninja costumes if you so desire. But like I said, a lot of Ninjago fans have been discussing these, and a lot of the reactions that I've seen so far have been pretty mixed, all things considered. The ninja suits don't look too bad in my opinion. Again, we only have Kai, Lloyd, and Aaron right now, but still, from what we can see, they don't look too bad in my opinion. They just look a little bit weird compared to previous installments, and a lot of people have no idea why the suits are designed the way that they are. So for the mask, the mask appears to be a new two-piece hood. This is something that is brand new for the year of 2023. None of the other ninja suits in the past have used a hood like this. It kind of has armor as well for the shoulders, but it looks more like it could be some type of scarf, some type of ninja scarf perhaps. And like I said, the hoods are new, but the face underneath is what a lot of people are talking about, because the faces are not the traditional ninja faces that we are used to seeing. In fact, they look very similar to the Prime Empire suits for the ninja in terms of the face, where they are primarily blacked out when the hood is up, only with some type of eye detail on there, or at least some type of representation of eyes. And I'm not sure why that could be. Maybe they're trying to hide their identities even further, and that would make sense if the plot point of them traveling to the future is actually going to happen, because if they were to travel to the future, I doubt they would want people to know who exactly they are. And as such, maybe they would need to conceal their identities even further. The rest of the outfit it looks like your traditional Ninjago ninja suit, nothing really too out of the ordinary. The only thing that a lot of people are finding weird is the hood and the face. I'm sure that'll make more sense when we eventually do see these suits in Ninjago United, or whatever the Ninjago 2023 series will be called. But overall, I'm not really too upset with these. I don't think they're as bad as people are saying that they are, and I feel like I'm going to really enjoy them once I finally see them in action, and I feel like once I see the entire team, then I'll fully appreciate these suits even further. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here just figured i would give my quick thoughts on the ninja suits since a lot of people are talking about them and i figured i would just give my two cents on them if you guys want to check out the suits for yourself feel free to check them out using the link down below in the description that'll lead you over to a picture of them and like i said sorry i could not show them in the video but they are leaks technically and they officially have not yet been revealed by lego so this is the best that i can do leave all your thoughts down below in the comments hopefully you enjoyed today's video and like i said that'll just about wrap it up for my thoughts here thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video feel free to like and subscribe do all that fun stuff and i will talk to you guys again very soon peace